Hello, everyone. Welcome to Noonday Prayer with St. George's. My name is Melanie, and I'm so happy you could be with me today. Thank you for spending this time of quiet prayer with me. Before we begin, let's close our eyes and settle ourselves into the peace and quiet of this moment, breathing in the peace of God's loving and abiding presence and breathing out the stress that we may be carrying around with us. Breathing in and breathing out. Our service begins on page 103 in the Book of Common Prayer. If you don't have one with you, you'll find a link to the online version of the Book of Common Prayer in the description for this video. So let us begin. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our psalm for the day is Psalm 103, and you can find it on page 733 in your Book of Common Prayer. I will be reading with Katie, so you can listen to us together. You can read aloud with us, or you can just let the words that we're speaking wash over you. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And forget in all, all his benefits. He forgives all your sins. And heals all your infirmities. He redeems your life from the grave. And crowns you with mercy and loving kindness. He satisfies you with good things. And your youth is renewed like an, like an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness. And judgment for all who are oppressed. He makes his way known to Moses. And his works to the children of Israel. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us. Nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins. Nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so is his mercy great upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Our scripture today is from the Sermon on the Mount recorded in Matthew chapter 5, verses 1 through 12. It's sometimes known as the Beatitudes. So here we go. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him, and he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely in my, on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Thanks be to God. Our service continues with the prayers in the middle of page 106. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Grant, O most merciful Lord, to your faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve you with a quiet mind through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And here we have the opportunity to offer up prayers of intercession, for thanksgivings, for concerns that we may be carrying around on our own behalf, on the behalf of those we love, or on behalf of the world. So I will offer up this prayer by Leslie Scoopmeyer, which is a reflection on the Beatitudes that we read a few moments ago. And as I'm reading this prayer, I invite you to let your heart speak your own prayers. O oh God, you bless us in every moment and uphold us by the strength of your love. Hear our prayer, for our hope is in you. Bless those who work as your servants, for they have found their hearts upon salvation in each mo moment. Bless those who are gentle and kind, for they draw others to you through their witness. Bless those who hunger for a just society, for they seek to build the kingdom of God. Bless those who demonstrate mercy and forgiveness, for they live out a life of love and charity. Bless those who are innocent and childlike, for their lives and their hearts are always open to you. Bless those who spread peace in their wake, for they call us to live as better people and children of your household. Bless those who suffer for their faith, for their resolve will never be shaken. Bless those who cry out to you, for they know that God will comfort them in their needs. Almighty One, guide us to be the blessed, the generous, the brave, whose faith reflects your blessing upon all creation. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And thank you for spending this time of quiet prayer with me together. I'm always so glad when we can have these Saturday noonday prayer services. So until next time I see you, vaya con Dios. Go with God. Bye-bye.